The following game is being played on the Collector Vision Phoenix. Awesome. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. Pepper 2. I love this game in the arcade. I play it a lot whenever I run across one of my travels. It's a really cool maze game. Uh, it's kind of like a combination of like a Pac-Man type game and Amidar. We have to enclose boxes on the screen to complete the maze. It's pretty cool. Another thing I like about the arcade game is the levels are not just on one screen. You can exit off the top, bottom sides of the screen to go to different mazes. That's pretty cool. It's a really fun arcade game. You ever run across one uh, in an arcade or a bowling alley or whatever? Hi, Rick Ben, giving it a try. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, Pepper 2 for the ColecoVision. As typical with their arcade boxes, uh, they have a picture of their arcade game on the front, which is really cool. I've always liked the Cleco Vision boxes because of this. Of course, on the side, Pepper 2, which is in the marquee type letters. Then on the back, it shows some game screens. As you can see by the game screens, it looks a lot like Amadar and how you enclose the boxes and everything. Really cool. Play sounds and scores like the arcade game. Have a maze crazy time guiding Pepper around the track. Sipping rooms shut to earn points and treasures. Keep a close watch for a sinister roaming eyes and a zipper ripper. Close a room containing a pitchfork and temporarily turn it to Pepper. Into an eye-catching devil that eliminates the roaming eyes and stuns the zipper ripper. <laughs> yeah. That's where the name Pepper 2 comes from. It's the duality of the character. So if you go from an angel to a devil. Uh, I remember when I first saw this game in the arcade, I was like, Pepper 2? I thought, well, what about Pepper 1? That's why it's called Pepper 2. It's the duality of the character. Kind of cool. Now, in an earlier video, I've, I've seen some people comment, what are these on the box? I had forgotten uh, my buddy RK from the Toy Tune podcast. He sent me a bunch of boxes for my ColecoVision games, and he used to have these hanging on his wall. So that's double stick tape for where he had it stuck to his wall on display a uh, long time ago. So, yeah, I got a lot of my boxes from uh, RK that I've been showing on here. So if you see this on the back, you know this came from RK. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. Also in the box, we have a really cool cartridge with, with the arcade marquee font on there. I love ColecoVision cartridges. They're so cool looking. Of course, if you have an overlay, you got a storage for an overlay back here, which is pretty cool. And also in the box, we have our instruction manual. Black and white, Pepper 2. See our little Pepper character there as the angel, and then him as the devil. The devil Pepper. What is like a ghost Pepper? Anyway, we got the game description, which I basically went over. You're enclosing all the uh, rooms in your maze by zipping up the track around the room. It'll fill it in. If you zip around like a pitchfork or a bonus item, you'll turn into the devil pepper. And you can delete, you can get rid of the evil eyes. If you got the zipper ripper on here, it'll freeze. It's, pretty, it's a pretty interesting game, the gameplay mechanics. the magic box yeah that room in the center room with magic box get some bonus points for that pretty cool close all the rooms that's how you advance to the next set of mazes to get all the rooms enclosed on the screens it is such a great game highly recommend giving us a try on the click vision what's also cool is this game was included on the ColecoVision flashback that came out a few years ago. Uh, so if you don't have a ColecoVision and you can run across a ColecoVision flashback, you can pick that up and it has this game included on it. Definitely makes purchasing the ColecoVision flashback worth it when it was out. Anyway, let's put this in the old uh, ColecoVision Phoenix console and play a game of Pepper 2. 
Phoenix. Actually, these Pepper 2, 1983. Okay, we're do skill level one, which is the Willy level. <laughs> Boop. This is actually a really good translation of the arcade game. They did a really good job of cap. Oh, I died. Did a good job of capturing the feel of the arcade game to the ColecoVision. Oh, got the mystery box. The uh, clip here. Oh, oh! You're supposed to hit him while you're the devil. There we two guys left. Devil eyes. There we go. <laughs> you see, if you run back over your trail, you unzip the room. So you really got to be careful about that. It really makes you think of where you need to go. Oh, man. Almost completed that room. Some bonus points when you complete it. Let's go to another maze. Ooh. Zip up those trails. Oh, oh. Let's go over to this maze. Game can be a little hard to control. Oh, that was a twofer. That worked. Oh, oh there we go. Turn the corner. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Rats! Almost got this maze complete. Let's get around the corner. Yeah, I'm zipping my trail. There we go. Bonus. <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to turn on me. Forty-four thousand points that time. Rats. All right, let's uh, let's try a different level here. We'll do skill level four, and watch how quickly I die. <laughs> yep. Oh, you lost a guy. <laughs> I got one box completed. Oh, 
Well, there's a zipper ripper. Just raise his ugly head. Oh! Didn't even complete one maze yet. complete at least. Oh! Whoa! There we go. Got the maze. Awesome. Oh, and I died. Game over. 17,000 points. That's not... That's bad. Let's go ahead and play skill level 1 again and see if I can break 44,000 points. Let's see if I can top my, my best score here so far. Of course, you get 5 peppers when you play skill level 1. Which I definitely need them. The hardest part about this game is controlling your pepper around the corners. I have a difficult time with that. I tend to overshoot. Get him! Get him! points. And over to base five. Almost got this base done. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, ah, whoa. Yes. <laughs> I just tucked right into that one. There we go. Got that encapsulated. That encapsulated. That encapsulated. Bonus! Oop, oop, missed it. Bitch 
teleport. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! oh! Almost got maze three done. Yes. Let's go to maze four. Let's see if I get this one completed. Oh, I'll go for this one. There's the one I gotta work on. Oh, yeah. Bam! Bonus points! Super bonus! I completed all the mazes. Well, wow, I definitely broke my high score. <laughs> That's cool. Well, ah, run! Oh, shoot. The mazes are disappearing. I forgot about that. Yeah, lots of points. And get around the corner. Quit unzipping your trails. Trying to complete this maze. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. There we go. Ooh, got a light bulb. Oh. It's kind of hard when the maze disappears and where the heck you're going. <laughs> oh, oh, no you don't. Oh, man, right where they changed. Oh, more like my last pepper. direction on me. Oh, he did it again. Oh, come on! There we go. Get the glasses. Get 
mystery box. Oh, they're chasing me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Doesn't know where to go. Ooh, let's get this bonus. It's like a pocket watch. Twofer. Go around the corner. Oh man! Well, 154,980. I did much better this time. Anyway, that's Pepper 2 for the ColecoVision. A really great translation of the arcade game to this home console. As always, thanks for watching. The player. Charlie, Charlie. I play on Coleco Beach.